Hello everyone, Fabri here and I'm sure you are all following the series 2017 to see a glimpse of future technology landscape. Well, one of the things that I'm most excited about is QLED. It's a brand new name for what was called Quantum Dot that was used in the last year's SUHD. Lots of names but always the same thing. But let's make a step back, shall we? OLED is a panel made with an organic compound that enables the self-emitting process for the panel. It means a thinner display because we miss the backlight layer and the possibility to turn off each pixel individually. QLED is a quantum dot technology. Quantum dots are microscopic molecules that, when hit by light, emit their own different colored light. So, it's not the technology rumored for years with self-emitting panels like OLEDs. The emitting layer produces blue light that provides photonic energy and is fed in two different sizes quantum dot to create red and green light. With this process the TV uses the real RGB spectrum and reproduces more accurate colors, especially the white gamma, rather than OLED that uses yellow and blue light to create white. For some years now, everybody said that OLED was the future of TVs, but these years also Sony, Panasonic and Grundig joined the hashtag team OLED. But don't be fooled, Samsung hasn't been left behind. They have just chosen a different path for the same goal. And if you follow me, it will totally make sense. The main difference between these two panels made simple is that QLED is great for brightness and can keep saturation correct even with bright light. On the other side, OLED is wonderful for blacks with its infinite contrast ratio. The point is that the new standard for the risk to come, as everybody knows, is 4K HDR, so high dynamic range. QLED is able to reproduce a wider gamma of colors and stay loyal to the real light spectrum. OLED has really vivid colors that can be really cool, if you ask me, but are not the real colors you will see with your own eyes. At this point it becomes just a matter of personal taste if you prefer one or the other. The implication in this is much more complicated than that, because QLED is not a brand new tech, since it's based on the LCD technology that was used for many years before LEDs. So Samsung believes that they can make cheaper panels refining a consolidated technology. It's great now, but imagine when AK will come in 4 or 5 years, they will be able to make bigger and higher resolution panels without any problems, rather than OLED that has self-emitting diodes, more delicate and that will create, I'm sure, bigger problems in the manufacturing stage. Besides, it's not confirmed by field test, but OLED can have problems after a few years and really stop working, something like SSD makes. So, QLED, which is a refining of LCD structure, is supposed to be more robust in the years to come. We still have LCD panels from 10 or 15 years ago. Besides, you should remind that this technology shown at CES 2020 are not the definitive perfection because often companies rush their production for CES, but they will release the products maybe one or six months later. So, with this in mind, which one is supposed to be better? Well, I believe that from the technology point of view, QLED is going to beat OLED in the long run and it will be a long shot for the risks come. But the fact that three of the most five important TV manufacturers have adopted OLED in their line makes me think that OLED will win for the next two or three years. And also, if you ask me which one looks better side by side, well, I will probably choose OLED because I fell in love with these vivid and pumped colors and deep blacks. But what about you? Which one would you buy for your home entertainment system? Team OLED or Team QLED? Write me in the comment section and if you have any question, please don't be shy. Be sure to drop a big like and go QLED on the subscribe button for more videos like this. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!